Hello everyone, I'm Nick and uh, welcome to I want to take the time machine to speedrun guide. I decided to make this because I thought that current guides are kind of complicated and I want to more explain more easily about how to run this game and especially how to set up it because it requires a lot of stuff. But first things first, you want to go and uh, find uh, I want to take the time machine to speedrunning page. Uh, and then go to resources and uh, download this, this, and this. Yeah, download this three. Uh, okay. Uh, let me. I already download this uh, all in one folder. So first things first. Uh, open up this thing. Oops. Uh, yeah like this and now you have coordinates of the kit which you can move by pressing this little square if uh, it shows zero all zeros then you're fine okay next up you want to open uh, light speed speeds this ones uh, if you open it for a first time it should look something like this. Uh, however, that's a bit of a mess and we need to change some stuff. Uh, okay. Here I have my settings displayed. Uh, first of all, change this to zero. And uh, then go here and do clear times. That removes the time counter and everything else. That's the easy part. Uh, for the hard one, uh, go to edit layout. Hold up. I'm trying to display it. Display it. Okay. Go to layout editor, and now uh, remove splits, but uh, then add uh, sub splits. And now all the stupid text uh, before the actual fit names is gone and the speeds look cooler. Also, at the very bottom you should uh, add... Uh, uh, where was it? Here it is. Scriptable auto speed. Eh? Uh, which is... Uh, uh, which is this, uh, this thing. You need to find this thing and uh, add it there. Oh. Let me do it. Oops. Okay. You should be good now. Let me move the speed over here. You should be set now with the speed part. Uh, now moving on onto the pump key part. Yet again, uh, open up Wasp. Uh, it's kind of private, so I can't really share it, but it's a spamming program. Okay. Now, I'm going to go into the editor of this program, and uh, how do you set it up? Well, press this button, then press the button you want to spam. In our case, it's uh, right shift. Then press this, then edit uh, this to 10 milliseconds, and press this button, and this button. And it's done. Now I want to do the same thing for the shoot key, which is this one. Here it is, and we should be set. Oh, also one more, kind of not important, but uh, actually important moment. Uh, I can actually show you in the game. Oh, I can also check if uh, everything spams. As you can see, I'm sp I am able to spam shift and able to spam shoot. Cool. Now there's also one moment which can distract you. 
during gameplay you can accidentally press alt key and uh, the result will be something like this sometimes you can freeze your game by doing this which is really bad so in order to fix this you're going to uh, open an auto hotkey script and uh, add one comment in which is uh, l alt equals i and that's it now you just need to use the script and and uh, if you're spamming out you your game won't uh, pause anymore accidentally so yeah that's about it now uh, now let's get to the actual tutorial part uh, actual performing part, you should, I should say. Before starting the game, you should switch your language to Korea, because it saves a second from the dialogues. Ah, delete your save file. And now, let's start game. As you can see, life will start as soon as, I, as the first dialogue appeared. That's how it should be. Uh, Advance through the dialog, and here choose the second option. Now you're able to play. You can spam shift to skip through these dialogues faster. The dialog in the beginning was the only one with the choice. And just to the platform, shoot the rocks, and yeah. This is the first uh, thing you do in the game, so there's not really any, anything much to explain, just go fast. Here you can jump ahead. And here you can do this jump. And then go into the time machine by pressing an A key. And then you need to tap uh, up once and uh, select the glacial edge. And that was the first speed. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one. We're going to explain the glacial age in the next one. Bye!